Hold on, Common Fossils. Today, I want to talk about Dark Rye V Star. It's a dark Pokemon. Uh, gives up two prizes, of course. It's a V Star. It's 273, weak to grass, so it may get caught in a crossfire of people trying to hit Charizard EX for weakness. That is a downside right now, but it's a very solid Pokemon, and this is a very solid, and I think, for at least in terms of my play style, it's a fairly straightforward deck, which I appreciate. So, Dark Pulse Attack does. For two colors energies, does 30 damage plus 30 more for each dark energy attached to all your Pokemon. So yes, you could play pay for it with a DTE, but you don't want to do that. We don't play DTE. We just play basic dark energies because we want dark energy in play. We flood the board with dark energies. We'll get to how we do that shortly. Um, but so, so the strategy looked pretty straightforward. It also has a very nice... V-Star Power, its ability Star Abyss. During your turn, you may put up to two item cards from your discard pile into your hand. Um, and you can only do that once per game. So we'll get as we see the items, we'll see the nat that's impacted how we build this deck a little bit, that V-Star Power. So um, again, pretty straightforward build. There is a build that uses the Glare and Moltres, the stage one that doubles... Um, uh, dark energies that are attached that are attached to the Weezings. Uh, I think that's a tougher strategy, a little less consistent. I like this build because it is more straightforward. So it takes a 3-3 Dark Ray line for this deck. We play uh, Glare and Moltres V, two copies of that, and two copies of the single prize, prize Glare and Moltres. So Glare and Moltres V, um, 220 HP V Pokemon, also weak to grass again. It's largely here for Dire Flame Wings. Once during your turn, you may attach a Dark Energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. You can't use more than one Dire Flame Wings ability each turn. So even if you have both Glare Moltres Vs in play, we can't accelerate to both of them. Although having multiple ones to spread around the energies is useful, right, in case the, our opponent targets down, say, our one V, if it only has half the energy, the other half's on the other V, we keep more energy for Dark Rye still. So um, getting both in play certainly is useful. And we can attack with it, too. It does 190 for three energies, Dark Dark Colorless, and it does 30 to itself, so it takes its own HP down to 190 after it attacks. But doing 190... It's, it's, you'd rather it be a 220, you know, I, there's no denying that, but it's still not a bad number. So, it, 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 you know, it, this is the secondary attacker, or maybe the third attacker, because then we also play the Baby Glare of Moltres, and this, in a lot of ways, is even better in the deck when it works properly. It's got Malevolent Charge ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to your bench during your turn, you may attach up to two Dark Energy cards from your hand to this Pokemon. So we, we want to play a higher energy count than average in this list, which we do. Um, hopefully you have two energies in your hand, get two more and play that 60 more damage on Dark Rye V-Star. And its attack is very nice as the game goes on. Fiery Wrath for three energies, Dark Dark Colors. It does 20 plus 50 more for each prize card your opponent has taken. So up to 270 potentially if your opponent's taken five prize cards. Very nice on a single prize attacker, right? So two copies of that to get energies in play and as a threat late game for attacking. Then we play one Radiant Greninja just to help set things up. You can only play one, obviously, so I guess I didn't need to say that. Uh, concealed Cards ability, you discard an energy in order to draw two cards. Uh, we, we accelerate for the discard pile with the Moltres V, as well as Dark Patch, which, which you're probably not surprised to hear the deck plays that. So it's useful here. We can't attack with it, so but it is an engine piece. Um, and then Squawk, one Squawk ability EX for Squawk and Seize. Once during your turn, you may discard your hand, draw six cards. So useful for setting up turn one. But also the Motivate attack has a little more value here than some decks. You, for it does 20 damage for one, uh, it's colorless, so we can pay for it with our Dark Energy and attach two basic energies from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So that, you know, that's, that effect of the attack can be useful, although certainly... We prefer it just to sit there and stay out of the way. So, the energies, we play 14 energies. That's a higher number than typical for a deck because we need to get a lot in play, right? That Without that, not, the deck just doesn't work. So, we'll get into the trainers here. And don't forget, with Dark Rye V-Star, we can recover two item cards. So, we play a few extra items in this deck than some. So, we want to be item heavy, too, to help that flexibility. We play Trekking Shoes. Obviously, you look at the top card. You can put it to hand or discard it. If you discard it, draw another card. Uh, if you see an energy, you need energy in the discard. A nice way to get energy in the discard. But also, just a nice way to dig through the deck. So, it just shortens the deck list. It's very useful in a lot of decks. This one, it is for sure. 
one box of disaster. It is an an item card if the V Pokemon has full HP and is knocked out from damage. Put eight damage counters on the opposing Pokemon. So obviously we can get one shot both our Moltres V and our uh, Dark Rai V Star. So Box of Disaster can be useful there. One Escape Rope, right? We need some switching. That's that's we don't play basic switch. We just play rope in this build. Uh, two Poke Stops. We we play three different stadiums. Two copies of Poke Stop. Uh, obviously, we want to bump Path to get the Glare and Moltres V to work. And uh, Poke Stop, you discard the top three cards in your deck, put three items in your, any items there, go back into your hand. Um, so, obviously, again, it encourages us to be item heavy, which which is, kind of suits this deck. It bumps to Path, and it just gets us some cards, can be useful, and gets those energies in the discard pile. Uh, one Pal Pad, right, we covered two supporters put him up to supporters put in the deck lost city a bump to path it is a way to shrink um oh lost city sorry the uh the, a pokemon that's knocked out goes in the lost zone so it, it is useful for some matchups so i've i've kept that in the deck three professors research really good for setting up early obviously um one choice belt right we, we need the, that extra 30 damage to get Vs, particularly get the V-Stars, or to get, like, the basic V with um, Glare and Moltres V, or to get that 30 extra damage can be very helpful on the Dark Rai V-Star. Uh, three Battle VIP Pass, just getting basics in play, helps out the deck there. Um, could play Nest Ball, long, you know, because that helps later in the game, but Battle, Battle VIP Pass obviously gives more bang for the buck on turn one. Um... One boss's order, very useful. One Clara, up, put up the two Pokemon from the Disco Pile into your hand, and or two basic energies. So uh, those are all very good. You can Clara, get back the baby Mol Moltres and two energies, and boom, you instantly have two more energies into play. Um, two Iono, just to help, obviously, set up early, disrupt late, collapse stadium, uh, the the bench shrinks from five to four for both players. You can get your squawk ability EX out of play with it if you want, which is useful. And again, it's a bump to path. So it is useful for sure. For a dark patch, right? This is um you um I don't I haven't you don't play this a lot because it only works with dark poke dark decks, but you can attach a basic dark energy from your discard pile to one of your benched dark Pokemon. So very good energy acceleration. We need energy in play. Obviously this helps dark rise ability can recover to Dark Patch if you have those energies in the discard pile, so all of a sudden you get another 60 damage that turn. You use the V-Star Power, quite useful there. And for Ultra Ball, searching out the Pokemon we need, as well as getting energies in the discard pile for Moltres V and Dark Patch. And then for Cross Switcher, um, right, you have to play two at a time, um, and then you switch your opponent's Pokemon, bench with an active and then you switch you one of your bench with the active so very useful the uh you know the the, the same effect as guzma which is similar to boss although you switch your own pokemon also on an item card you have to play two and of course we can recover two with dark rise v star ability so this is the one of the other main uses for that ability a really nice option to play if you can save that ability till late in the game on dark rye hit your cross switcher boom get game um, it certainly had, does has worked for me that. So it's a very solid deck, um, a deck I got to say I've enjoyed playing. It's not top tier by any, any stretch, so I'm not don't I'm not trying to fool you there. But a fun deck to play, a solid deck to play, and one that can win. Let's see what we can do now. All right, so we'll see what we can do here. Call heads. Obviously, I want to go first. Obviously, an evolution deck. All right, lost the coin toss. Probably go second. Now, obviously, I can't. The one advantage is I can play a supporter, so I can kind of develop a little bit better. Hopefully, the board state, um, but it's not great, right? You, you, it's and obviously, look, it's not good when a deck gets um, significantly hurt when you have to go second because you're gonna have to go second a decent amount of the time, right? Not a little more than half because you, you can always choose. Uh, all right, so the Moltres V because the the baby Moltres has the on play ability, so. Okay, so, and I have two energies, so I can actually get two energies onto the Moltres turn one. I don't want to attack with it turn one, of course, because it does, what, 20 damage turn one. So, so up against the Charizard deck, 
not terrible. Um, but you know, I, I, I Arceus, it, it's not going to be easy. You know, I kind of need to. I mean, I can accelerate to Moltres also with the Ultra Ball discarding. All right, Trekking Shoes isn't. I mean, Cross Switcher is not bad. Yeah, I'll take him. So I'm going to make this play. Okay, that's not uh, that's not bad at all. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Maybe I should have discarded that. Um, yes, I'll grab that. Um, what am I going to discard? Um, get rid of one of the V-Stars and cross switcher because I, I might recover that with dark right later that's kind of my thought there so i will get down no i don't want to squawk and seize that will, wouldn't be good i think getting rid of two of my v stars will not be good for my day so accelerate to myself here I'm going to attach to the V, and I'm not going to play down the baby. Um, right, I need two on the Dark Ride V-Star to attack, so I want to get him so I can attach and attack next turn. Now, right now, I just have three energy in play, so that's in the 90 plus the 30, so 120. So, right, they're going to attack. Okay, they made it, They failed the attack, so that's... Okay, so I, this is actually very nice for me now, so... I'm just going to want to. I think I can take out the the char the Charmander, right? That's that's the deal here, because now. So this is a good start for me, taking, right? And it, it's obviously a stage two, so I don't. Yeah, I just I just attack do one twenty. I mean one twenty is not huge. Don't get me wrong. I'm well aware that it's not huge, but I get the first prize. That's big. If they're an evolution-based deck, so that's good, too. Um, so I can accelerate to the baby Moltres. If I top deck energy, that's even better. I can get two energies into play. I mean, right now I'm just doing 120, 30, 40, 50. 180 is probably the most I can do. If I hit research, actually... Uh, okay, so what are they going to do? Are they just? They might just be stalling me, which, which if, although it's not overly effective because... Okay, so I'm going... The safe play here is to, what do I have for trainers? I don't think I want to, so I think I'm just going to retreat, accelerate, and attack. That's that's the safest play here, right? Um, so obviously I accelerate to Moltres V, so I get the energy back in play, so I'm doing 30 more. Um, do I want to get a V down? I, I, I'm just going to attack. At this point, I can grab rope next turn if I want to. Uh, I have one cross switcher. If I if I draw a cross switcher, I can cross switcher and pick. If if they get down, my thought is, look, obviously I finish off the Arceus V Star next turn. I do at least one fifty more. Um, boom, he's knocked out. So opponent conceded because they really brick. So um, what should be on paper the better deck? Um, I think uh, you know. Um, Dark Rise certainly is not getting a lot of attention. It's getting played some. It, it, it's out there, though, so don't get me wrong. So, um, anyway, got a very solid game there. Um, let's try take a look once more. That was a quick game. Didn't get a lot happening. See what we can do. All right, so I will... Uh, hopefully, I get to go first, obviously. I went second last turn. All right, good. Last game, I mean, so... All right, so I will go first. So that's a big plus for me. Gives me the ability to attack with a Dark Rye V Star on turn two. Um, eh. I will. What do I put down? I guess the Greninja. Both support Pokemon. It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, so. Uh, all right, up against the Inteleon Urshifu deck. So I'm glad I'm not weak, fighting weak now for this matchup, of course, because Urshifu is a fighting Pokemon. It would be really rough for me. Um, we will see 
what happens here. Um, okay, research. Eh, that doesn't particularly matter. All right, so up against, okay, with Palkia. Okay, all right. So what do I want to do? I, I probably want to discard the energies. Did I want to... Radiant Greninja. I'll Radiant Greninja. See what happens. See what I get. Moltres. Uh, uh, see, I don't... Uh, the Moltres is... See, that, that's part... That's a bit unfortunate. So I want to... I do have Dark Patch. So I'm going to want to use the Dark Patch, right? Box of Disaster and Choice Belt, right? I kind of, uh, I kind of want that Moltres. I have another one though. I have two more V's, so I'll toss down the V. Um, so I'm going to accelerate with Dark with Dark Patch, right? I am going to Choice Belt, I think, rather than Box of Disaster discard this hand, right? There's no point playing Box of Disaster. It only works on Vs. So, um... That's not a bad card. Alright, so I could get my other Moltres. In which case, I want to keep these two energies in hand. The Baby Moltres, I'm thinking. I'm thinking Baby Moltres. Um... Just, you know, accelerating energy. The risk is that it's a pinging deck, right? So I, I do run a real risk that they're going to uh, stall me out um, end turn. I have research, so it's a, it's a good one-card hand because I'll get top deck, whatever that card is, and then I get seven more cards after that. So Metacham, of course, very dangerous for me. Um because it takes back to back turns, right? Once they get something down to 20 HP or less, they hit me with Metacham and finish me off. So the Moltres, obviously, look, getting those extra energies into play, I think, is important because I need to start taking prizes. Um, and I have Choice Belt. So Dark Ray, right? If I got the V Star next turn and can attack with it, we have one more energy one, two, three. All right, Iona's on. Well, you know, that's okay. I see almost as much as the research without having to discard. All right, that's not bad. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need what? I need eight times 30. So I need, I have the base, so seven, and I have the choice belt. So I need six energies in play which I probably don't get that. But I do have, if I hit cross switcher, I can take out an Inteleon, right? Or I can take out the Metacham. I don't like the Metacham, I gotta say. I don't, I don't like, because the, the Metacham's gonna pair up with the Inteleon. All right, well, that's really nice as well. For That's good. So I'm going to, would I just have one in the discard? So let me dark patch to the dark right V. Um... Uh, I think I want, do I, do I want to retreat? I only play the one rope, right? Um, and I play the cross switcher. So, no, I'm gonna, I'm planning on cross switching, right? So I'll, I'll discard the energy. Um, I'll discard the energy. I'll save the Radiant Greninja as an option. Okay, so that's, that's good. Um, so... I have a lot of options here. Okay, so I, I let's see. I don't want that'll be a P pass. That's easy. Dark Ray V, that's good. I probably get him down. Yeah, I think I want him. So Okay, now I can seal the cards. Let's see what I hit here. Another dark patch. That's quite nice. Alright, so. I can hard retreat as well, right? I do have that as an option. One, two, three, four. Um, what do I have in the discard? I 
think I'm going to hard retreat, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, so I think I get the knockout. I, I hope I did the math right. I'm going to have, I have dark patch still. So I do 210 already. That's, that's fine. Here, play my dark patch. Take out the Palkia, which I didn't think I was going to be able to do, but that's a nice result. I didn't use my V-Star power yet, so very nice turn for me. Um, Meta Channel, I'm scared about still. They're not going to be able to get that off this next turn, though, right? So, all right, Dark Patch, that's really good, too. Um, so I think I want to take out the Meta Cham V. I mean, they can do, what, it does 20 to 2, right? I haven't went up against the Inteleon or Shibu matchup again. I think it, it pings 20 to 2 when it discards in energy. 40. They may play Radiant Alakazam. They probably do, which can move the energy as well. well let's see what they do. I mean, they, they don't one-shot me. Um, I may be able to... All right, what are they going to do? Um... Okay, I mean, I, I can retreat. I can accelerate energy back from retreating. Um, I have an energy in discard, so I don't really... I mean, that that's fine. That's fine. I don't think they're going to knock me out. I can attack. I can evolve and attack. So this is actually quite nice. Surf just does damage. Super. Wow, That this turn is pretty busted, is what I'd say. So, so 210... I'll attach. Um, I think I want to... I mean, I saved the Dark Patch, right? Save Dark Patch. Just use my ability. And I just attack now. And I'm doing, two, I'm doing 270. So this is awesome. So they scooped, right? I was about to take my prizes. So, so you know, hey, there we go. 270. Um, they weren't going to take... I don't think they're going to take any prizes next turn, so I was going to be able to one-shot, I believe, the VMAXs next turn, probably. Um, it, it, this deck really, you know, when it gets going, it's it's dangerous, and it's not crazy difficult to set up, right? It's not. It's a pretty straightforward deck, um, this list. Um, you can play. The other way to build it is with Galarian Weezing. Whoops. Right, I believe, or is it just wheezing? Um, maybe it's just wheezing. It's not Galarian wheezing. I apologize. That no. What, what am I thinking of? So it, it is so wheezing. Okay, no, it is Galarian wheezing. Sorry, I I don't own it. Okay, so Galarian wheezing. Um, it's energy factory ability. Each basic dark energy that have wheezing in the name count as two. So it only works really for the other Galarian wheezings um, because it doesn't, if it worked for Galarian Pokemon in general, then it would be super busted for this deck, but it, it only b helps double its energy. So, I, I mean, you got to get the evolution into play and then you have to attach them to wheezing. I like the Galarian Moltreses. I think it's just simpler, um, in simple helps because simple means you can pull it off more often, right? You want to pull it off turn after turn after turn, accelerate to the V, accelerate, you know, to the baby Moltres when you play the baby Moltres when you have two energies in hand that you can afford to put on it, and then uh, play your dark patches, you know, it, and it just sets up easily. And then choose what two two items you want to recover with the dark ride. Is it two dark patch? Is it two cross switcher? dangerous deck um you know honestly i think it's a better deck than i've given it credit for um it's a solid choice and for me it's a fun deck to play if you think it sounds appealing to you get the deck and give it a try take care